Good morning, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 8.50 a.m., Tuesday, December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. Today, we're going to go over this study, which is an actual cause and effect study, not an epidemiology study, in which you won't see the words in here, possibility, or maybe, or risk. This study uses scientific data to prove that oxalate induces breast cancer. There is no doubt it was duplicated in the lab and this study was duplicated by other doctors that paid review it. Oxalate induces breast cancer. Now I put this up every couple of months and the vegans never go in the comment field of this study ever, ever. So what we have is, this study came about is when scientists were doing, uh, and doctors, real ones, were actually doing a, a notice that women who uh, had breast cancer when the biopsy was done, in the tumorous breast tissue, there was oxalates. So they were like, that's odd. Let's, that, it almost seems like uh, oxalates is a carcinogenic. So what do you do? You find out if oxalates are causing genetic. And I'll take, you know, petri dish, petri dish grown human epithelial cells, breast tissue from women, and they'll put them in two batches. And they'll put them in an incubator. One is not uh, uh, introduced to oxalates, and the other half is induced to uh, oxalates. And guess what happened? There was no possibility. There was no maybe. Okay. The female breast epithelial tissue turned cancerous and started growing tumors. So here we got a bunch of people telling 80% of vegans are women and they're telling them this diet is healthy for them. Meanwhile, if you check my other videos, two, two prominent uh, vegans, women, no, uh, I'm sorry, three vegan women that I know of died. Two of them died of breast cancer, and one of them died for cancer. There, there, is, there is a link here, because you know why? It doesn't say oxalates are a risk to breast cancer. It doesn't say maybe oxalates induce breast cancer. It doesn't say possibility oxalate induces breast cancer. It says oxalate induces breast cancer. They've proven this in the lab. And then we get people like Vegan V or Lee Vegan who says there is no oxalates in, in uh, veggies. It's only in meat. Meanwhile, you can go look up on any data sheet. No, there's zero oxalates in meat. That's why it's a healthier, healthier diet. It's less toxic. Well, vegans are running around saying uh, red meat causes uh, a cancer. <laughs> They mean st uh, stuff that's been sitting on the shelf for two years, like salami and all those uh, high salt items. It has nothing to do with steak. That's a fabrication. That's an over-exaggeration on the vegan part to sell their health plans and their e-books. On every one of these vegan cookbooks, this should be in the first page as a warning. It's known science. It's undebatable. It was done in mammals with breast tissue. Vegans lie all the time. And then if they use lab mice in the study, well, they're not human. They're the closest you can get to human. Anything that affects, like, lab rats or lab mice, it's a 99.9% .9 probability it'll pass on to humans. Matter of fact, in some can it's so close, it's closer than that. That's how they decide if the vaccines work or these medicines they give you work or these makeups. They, chest, they test it on lab rats and mice before they give it to you. These vegans are undoing science. 170 year, years of medical in the medical field knows that overconsumption of produce gives you a silic acid diathesis, which used to be seasonal. 
back in the day, in the 1800s, 1900s. But since the studies are old, it all went away. Because vegan science, they're a disgrace. This should be the first page of every vegan cookbook right here. This right here, as a warning. And on that note, I'm out of here.